At HPE Discover Las Vegas 2025, we're seeing how AI is supercharging emerging technologies like supercomputers. You can take a history of x-rays and you can say, at this point in time, we started to see cancer appear. From training supercomputers to spot cancer in any image, to networking technologies that bring connectivity everywhere. Even in a fish tank. <laughs> Indeed. This is an access point. It provides a wireless network. And as you can see, um, it doesn't mind moisture. AI is pushing the boundaries of what's possible. We are scanning the patients, create a kind of twinning of the information of the patients. Hospitals using AI to turn patient data into precise, personalized therapies. AI is now making your ambitions a reality. But enabling that across all industries isn't easy. Much of today's infrastructure is made up for, of layers of legacy IT. At the same time, growing data, sovereignty, and regulatory requirements are forcing you to rethink. A lot of vendors say they can take on those challenges. So what's HPE's story? Over the past decade, HPE made bold moves, betting on as a service with GreenLake, doubling down on supercomputing with Cray, and now expanding its reach through Juniper for AI-driven networking. Each step built towards this moment, positioning HPE to deliver the infrastructure modern enterprises need in the AI era, networking, hybrid cloud, and AI. And our mission has never been more important as we stand at the edge of a new renaissance. At HPE Discover, that mission came to life with new announcements designed to turn vision into reality. We heard about self-managing networks powered by agentic AI, AI factories co-developed with NVIDIA for fast turnkey development, GreenLake intelligence to manage costs and operations with autonomous agents, and AI-optimized storage in next-gen servers for intensive workloads. It's a system-wide approach, and soon many of these components will power Miami Freedom Park, the future home of Inter-Miami CF. With HP Aruba networking, visitors will have faster, more reliable connectivity throughout the park. And with our HP GreenLake Cloud and AI solutions, Inter-Miami can track player performance, connect with funds in new ways, and run smarter operations. HPE strategy is already in motion. Let's head to the show floor for a deeper look. AI is showing up in places you'd never expect, from the baseball field to inside a fish tank. But powering that leap takes more than algorithms. It takes infrastructure. Networking is the core foundation of a modern IT architecture. Obviously, it's not just fish tanks that we're showcasing the possibilities here. No, so we're showcasing and we're building networks for customers that are everywhere. Customers like Carnival Cruise, who rely on HPE Aruba for shipwide connectivity at sea, enabling personalized guest experiences and real-time operational insights for the crew. So, you know, the days of shipping all your data back to the data center and then carefully working through that and making decisions based on that data, those days have gone. So, uh, if you can make a quick decision uh, and then take an action, you know, in real time, at the speed of business, if you like, you know, that, that is a great thing for customers. But connectivity is just the beginning. At the video demo, we saw how HPE ProLiant servers bring AI to the edge with GPU acceleration and low latency processing that powers real-time computer vision. And luckily, just in time for lunch. Why are there hamburgers here? <laughs> this, this is a game where Bideo is a vision AI software and it's letting you know whether you're filling the orders correctly. So Vidio works on live video streams. The software is running on the server. That enables us to convert, essentially convert video into data and NVIDIA GPU on the back end for what we call uh, computer vision inferencing. We can find lost children. We can make sure that you're fulfilling orders in your fast food restaurant properly. Just about anything that a camera can see we can run it through video and improve the outcome. And when downtime isn't an option, HPE nonstop takes the lead, like in car manufacturing. You know, when you have a customer order, you order the car, I order the car, and somebody else order the car, this is a sequence. 
Abbott Plus developed the AI software to manage a car's production sequence. It uses HPE nonstop and always on compute platform that combines purpose built servers and software. So, when you have a complex car like this one with sunroof, with fully equipped things like the dashboard here, um, there could be restrictions that you cannot build two cars in a row of this complexity. And for this technology, we use now AI technology. And you won't believe how the AI software is trained. We use these small guys to work on AI technologies because the, AI, the, the, the small boys have their own brain, taking their own decisions. They play in a team of five in, in a league playing soccer. And we use this to train our algorithm and the AI technology for planning and sequencing of vehicles. These use cases are so impressive, but back to our original question, how do we scale them? That's where HPE's AI factories come in. They're pre-integrated systems that combine compute, storage, and data control to help enterprises deploy and scale AI quickly. We have announced three different AI factories. Private Cloud AI, our turnkey AI factory, you can just plug in and start inferencing within a couple of days as long as you upload specific software or large language models. So Sovereign AI factory is more focusing on customers that need private and secure environment. And the last one was AI Factory at Scale, which is essentially similar to the turnkey factory, but it's for those enterprises that have been tinkering with technology for a while now. They do have some internal skills and they want to just ramp up their knowledge and go quicker and move a lot faster towards the future. And through HPE's Unleash AI ecosystem, HPE now delivers more than 75 use cases from agentic AI in smart cities to manufacturing and cybersecurity. Now let's talk about what's next. Agentic AI communicating with physical AI. Hi there, I'm kind of Krista. So Krista has been trained on everything about Discover. She knows every demo that's on the showcase floor. And she has a little fun robot that you can play with. You can't beat that. Yeah. I mean, I did. Ah, I told you, I was a catcher that one time. That one time was when I was eight years old, but let's move on. So we just watched how Krista communicated with this robot to throw a ball. So two different systems talking together, right? But we had to make sure that there's a, a human in the loop. So we're using NVIDIA uh, Omniverse and NVIDIA Isaac to do the digital twin simulation. And then she sends a call back to the robot to, to perform the action. But before the robot can take any action, we must have a human in the loop, right? So we have an agentic AI and a physical AI. And we want to make sure the human's in the loop to make sure that we are in control of what that physical AI robot does. Now imagine an agent like Krista, but trained to assist in surgery. It requires AI that can fuse speech, vision, movement, and real-time decision-making, all trained on massive high-stake data sets. That's where HPE's advancements in supercomputers comes into play. So El Capitan is the world's fastest supercomputer. What we have here is a sort of a mock-up of it. This is about 5% of El Capitan. Ideal for large research institutions that need to fine tune AI models. So within the supercomputing space, we have been doing things like machine learning and computational steering for years, 30 odd years, where we look at patterns, we look at the results uh, to help steer work and to help us do a better job of solving the right uh, uh, questions and also getting and extracting answers from data. One of the biggest problems we have is that there's so much data out there. How do you extract information? How do you extract insight from this data? And that's where artificial intelligence can help us. It's the kind of infrastructure that'll power breakthroughs at places like St. Jude's Children's Hospital. St. Jude has partnered with HPE on the journey to use AI and high performance computing to unlock new discoveries from a data set of over 60 years of groundbreaking research. The data that comes out of these things is much bigger, much more relevant, much has much more impact on humans. So AI might be the engine, but the infrastructure that scales it, and that's the real battleground now. And HPE is among the companies laying the tracks. Stay tuned as we follow where those tracks lead here in Connected. Till next time, I'm Diana Blass. My friend, you're in the wrong direction. <laughs> there you go. Might be distracting him a little bit. <laughs>